here we go again. And I don't just mean another mass murdering monster. Once again, our media is acting like an enemy of the people by purposely spreading false information and in the process, stirring up racial tensions for no reason. As you probably know by now, another mass shooting has claimed many innocent lives once again. And Democrats, along with their media, are wasting no time trying to capitalize on it politically and use it to demonize their political opponents. Surely what we need in times like this are the nationally televised wealthy wine chugging idiots on The View to guide us. Lord Jesus, this ain't happening, man. This can't be happening, man. This isn't happening. So we all have to remember that the head of the Proud Boys, his name is Enrique Tarrio. The Proud Boys is a white nationalist group. Look, I'm not here to defend the Proud Boys, but what have they ever actually done that's supposedly white nationalists or targeted at minorities? I know that there was an incident where they tore down a Black Lives Matter flag, but I don't see how that's inherently racist. Black Lives Matter is a political organization. And the Proud Boys, as far as I know, only ever got into it with BLM and Antifa, most of whom were white. Being Hispanic or being black does not, or being anything, does not make you immune from being racist, from being radicalized, from being a white supremacist. What the hell did you just say? Ah, how convenient. No matter what the skin color of the attacker is or their motives, you can blame white supremacy. Well, I'm glad you brought up the race piece because and we won't, we're not going to mention what, what the name of the group what he that, belonged to yeah. was, but... Hmm, I wonder why she doesn't want to mention the groups that he was affiliated with. Could that be because it was prison gangs and Mexican cartels? Yep. This shooter, who happened to be Hispanic and Latino, which is very bizarre to me. It's bizarre to me that you randomly use an accent when speaking about that specific group. Had a white supremacy moniker on him. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, Christopher Ray, these are not my words, so people don't start with the I'm a race baiter crap. The guy is Latino and most of his victims were white. There's absolutely no evidence whatsoever that any of this had anything to do with race. Now, her evidence for this is the shooter supposedly having a RWDS patch, which they've assumed means right wing death squad, which it might. We don't have all the facts yet, but just looking at it, what about the shooting has anything to do with race or political affiliation. Christopher Ray said that the biggest threat to our democracy is white supremacy and domestic terrorism. He testified before Congress. I mean, there's so many of these white supremacist terrorist attacks that they keep telling is clearly not white people are still somehow white supremacists. And again, the victims of this guy appear to be mostly white. And there's no way he could have known the political affiliation of the people he targeted. You have someone named Greg Abbott, the governor of Texas, where there have been so many shootings saying mental health. The shooter was quite literally kicked out of the U.S. Army because he had mental health problems. Like I said, this piece of shit's victims were mostly white, and there's absolutely no way he could have known their political affiliations. So what the f*** are these imbeciles talking about? Isn't it interesting how quickly these people know the motivations of these attackers when they can benefit them politically, but when the shooter is one of their own, suddenly nobody knows what motivated them, and the police aren't releasing their manifestos. The insanity don't stop over at MS. SMBC, where their reporters are ratcheting up the rhetoric, which is definitely what we need right now. The only way to change any of this is to completely wipe out the Republican Party. Somebody has to say it. Have been left in ruins. Good God! Genocidal rhetoric from mainstream media against members of their opposing political party and pursuit of a one-party totalitarian state so they can take away our constitutional rights. <laughs> so democracy. Yes, that's Michael Steele, a supposed Republican nodding in agreement to a psychotic snake oil salesman, Roland Martin, who's openly calling for his political opponents to be, quote, wiped out and blaming the actions of his fellow psychos on regular Americans who were only exercising their constitutional rights. Greg Abbott, the governor, is sick and demented. He has literally done nothing. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, the leadership, uh, Republican leadership in the state, they literally have done nothing. They have ignored the Uvalde parents. I was at the Texas Capitol uh, a few months ago uh, where they were rallying there. They are not going to do anything. But here's also what has to happen. People of conscience are going to have to stop sitting at home and saying, oh, 
We want something done. While Democrats and the media regularly accuse Republicans of doing nothing, it's actually Democrats who refuse to guard kids with the same security that they are protected with. The only thing Democrats and the media want to do is take away your rights and disarm you while members of their media call for you to be wiped out. Yeah, that's going to end well. Banning AR-15s won't stop any of this. It has nothing to do with it. The worst mass shooting in American history was done with handguns. And in fact, on the very same day of the shooting we're talking about here, another Hispanic man ran over a bunch of migrants with his car killing eight of them. I don't have the answer. I don't think either side does. But what our media is doing with these shootings is criminal, and it's going to get people hurt. Stay safe out there, people. That's all I have for this one. If you enjoyed it and found it informative, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all on the next one.